Here's three more little items which are nice and contrasting too. Uh, a, that's a magic trick that one actually, a nice little toy for kids. One of those lovely lithophanes which lights up and things. So nice contrast. Here's the first one. It's a very clever idea actually. It's a little coffin or sarcophagus, perhaps from Egypt. And here's the um, the pharaohs, the mummies. That goes in like that. You get your friend to do it when your back's turned, and then you put it on the table. And he says, "Now, what colours I put in there?" And he's also hid these away, so you can't tell that away. And of course, all you're doing is looking at the fact that this rocks slightly from there. To, 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 look at this movement; how slight that is. When it's resting on the head, as it is now, it means it's a dark one, a dark brown. If we try the next one, we'll see it changes its position. It's due to the fact that there are different. There's weight inside, but it's in different positions, right? That one is exactly in the middle because it's rocking nicely. Both ends like three. So I would have to remember the order in which they go. That's at the head. That one's in the middle when it's exactly balanced. And the last one I have to remember, which is a light, which is slightly darker wood, is now sitting on the tail there. So for a magician, it's very easy to remember those three things. You just have to have them in your brain that that and then that and then that or the head and the middle and the tail of the coffin and you know exactly which is inside even though the lid's closed and you haven't seen it. The clever trick that, I like that. Well, who's the mummy? Yeah, I think this one is a charming little toy, an old one reproducer, I think, plastic. When you blow it up, I thought I'd start without the whistle going because what's going to happen is the air is going to come and come out in two different places. One is here, a whistle, which I'll do second. And secondly, it also comes out of the back to give it forward propulsion. So it should whistle. I can't whistle or dry mouse today. It should whistle and also each time it moves forward. We'll try just a forward movement to start with. Hand over the piece, place it on the table, let go of the blue and Almost one, well, I've got one way through. Now we take off this and we'll have double the fun because we get a sound at the same time. But that's going to be a bit harder to blow. I've got to keep my finger over there. Otherwise, all the blowing here will just go to making the, the whistle sound. We'll have a go. Wow. Now let's see what happens. Finger there, finger there, finger there. Well, it did it once, not bad, not bad for a little toy. I got a feeling if I did a much bigger balloon, it would last, well, on the other hand, it might, yes, it might fall over. But a nice idea to have a whistle that's doing two things. It's making a, a balloon that does two things. It's, it's making the whistle sound, and that little nozzle there is making forward propulsion. Do you like it? Yes, we would try helium sometimes, see what happens, but float in the air, yes. Well, if it was big enough, the balloon would, would float in the air first. That would be more fun still. The last one is a charm lithophane, which um, Nandor Bokor from Hungary sent me. It doesn't look like anything when you look at it close up. Well, there is a cat there, but it's going to be much better when I light it up. On the back is completely blank, of course. This was in this cereal packet, would you believe? Now, if we light it up from behind, I've just got to, I've got to make sure it's a bit dark, very well. So it's a very precise bit of artwork there to create such a, an exact replica of it, all done by the thickness of the plastic, which is astonishing. So the lithophane really has something quite magical about it, because on the one side you see nothing whatever, Except that we sometimes we put a torch so it lights up, but this one makes a perfect reproduction. What was you looking for? All done by light. I think wonderful. <laughs>